which I've done. Mm. Or you low temperature stuff. Oh, look, it's perfectly good. I love you even more now. It's I nice. do like a man who cooks. Thank you. Mm. Wow. It's I didn't realise when we did Strictly together that, that, that you cooked so well. What about an Italian man? Well, I've only just got to know Francesca, so oh. I have to wait. <laughs> I've known you for about 12 years. I know him. It'll take him 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> right, there we go. We've got a selection of drinks we matched with this. Uh, and today we've got a team of kitchen yeah. fitters from Surrey to tell us what they think. So enjoy this one. See you in a bit. Hi, James. We're the kitchen fitters from Gunnamin Kitchens. I'm Jason. I'm Sandor. And I'm Mike. And we're here today to taste some wines that go with creme brulee. And the first wine we're going to try today is a Spanish wine, and it's a Torres Flores. Sweet. Very sweet, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah, very nice, actually. Yeah, I quite like that. I don't usually like sweet wine, but, um, yeah, go well with creme brulee. It's got sort of a caramelly, raisiny taste to it, I think. A bit floral, maybe, but, yeah, quite nice. It's very good uh, for, for dessert. Yeah. Yeah, this is very nice. Personally, for myself, I wouldn't actually buy that to drink with a dessert. That would be too, too, sweet. too sweet. And it's old, not the young type of wine. It's old. Old. Old, old okay. yeah. It's more of a perfume. It's for floral perfume. The second wine we're going to try is a Brown Brothers Orange Masquette. Hmm. First impression, the colour, yeah. It's... It's a very nice colour and smells fresh. In, in my opinion, this, this wine is um, not as sweet as the first one, which I like. I'll drink this with cheese, if I had a cheese board afterwards. It's quite a nice wine. It tastes with orange and very good acid and good balance with the sweet and the acidic taste. I think it's very good wine. Mm, definitely more floral, that tasty orange. Uh, lighter, I think, than that one. Probably not as sweet, maybe, and not as intense. Probably prefer it, I think, if I was having creme brulee. Yeah, quite nice, actually. Yeah. Quite like that. The last wine we're going to try today is a 2014 Semillon. Should we give that a go? Yeah, Let's see where we go. Oh, that's nice. Mm. The mm. smell is, is, is... More intense. Yeah, more intense, yeah, yeah. yeah. In my opinion, this is the best of the three. It's not it's sweet. Between them, isn't it? It's not yeah. quite as mm. floral as that one, but not mm. quite as intense. Yeah, natural sweet, mm. but together it's much uh, acidic. It's very interesting. Perfect for creme brulee. I would, I would buy that to drink, definitely. Slightly lemony too, maybe. Citrus fruit in there. Definitely getting orange now, sort of burnt orange flavour, more than the second one, which was the muscat. This will be in my better list. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sander might be buying <laughs> some, yeah. I think I prefer the last, the Sauvignon. But definitely, for me, I think the Sauvignon was the one. For me, it's the Sauvignon as well. So, James, we all agree the Sauvignon 2014 is the winner for us. Cheers, James. Cheers. James. Cheers. Cheers indeed. Well, mm. how are you getting on there? You've, you've nearly finished that, Gloria. Tell, tell, I put that down and taste and said, well, is this mine? Well, you've got to do it how the Italians would do it, and you, you've got a dunk. Dunk. So these, these are the homemade biscotti. Really? Yeah. Go on, go on. So how are you with, with dessert wine, anyway? Big fan? Um, or... I quite like it. I, do you know, honestly, you hate me for this, but I'm not a, I'm not a fantastic wine drinker. I like red I wine, and occasionally I'll have a dessert wine. OK. What's your, mm. what's your tipple? 